This video describes the principles of the epidural technique. The most common site for epidural needle placement in dogs and cats is the L7-S1 interspace. This schematic depicts the epidural space in transverse section. At this level, the spinal cord tapers to the felum terminale and you are unlikely to encounter CSF. The epidural space is filled with fat and is under negative pressure. To perform an epidural, you will need sterile gloves, sterile saline for a test injection, syringes, and either an opioid, a local anaesthetic, or a combination of both. Spinal needles come in a variety of sizes. Depicted here are 22 gauge needles, which are one and a half, two and a half, and three and a half inches long. The black needle shown here is a 22 gauge needle and the yellow a 20 gauge. Note the notch on the stylet which indicates the direction in which the bevel is pointing. The dog or cat can be positioned in either lateral or sternal recumbency for epidural placement, depending on operator preference. This dog is positioned in sternal recumbency with its head to the right of the screen. The operator is palpating the dorsal wings of the ilium and the dip between the L7 and the S1 space. In this case, the needle is advanced through the skin and the stylet removed. At this point, the hanging drop technique can be performed. This technique is shown in a subsequent video. You should be aware of contraindications to the epidural technique, which are classified as relative or absolute. Relative contraindications include obesity and a lack of landmarks. Absolute contraindications include infection at the needle site. In this cat, with a sacroiliac luxation, the landmarks are altered. In this obese dog, palpation of landmarks is difficult. This table features a variety of commonly used combinations of opioids and local anaesthetics used for the epidural technique in dogs and cats.